Look, marriage isn't easy. Tom Brady and Giselle Bündchen appear to be a step closer to officially calling it quits. The seven-time Super Bowl champion and his supermodel wife have each hired divorce attorneys. <laughs> Up until very recently, Tom Brady and Giselle Bündchen were considered by many to be the gold standard when it comes to celebrity marriages. 2022 marked the 13th year of holy matrimony for the couple, and thus far, they've done pretty well to navigate the oft-troubled waters of celebrity relationships. Not to mention the fact that, as individuals, both Brady and Giselle were, and still are, titans in their respective industries. Needless to say, their romance was considered a relationship goal by many, pretty much ever since the couple linked up in 2007. But in the past few days, reports have been leaked that suggests that this aforementioned power couple, which was comprised of two of the most accomplished individuals out there, is now headed for a courtroom. Multiple sources told Page Six that Bunchen and Brady have both retained divorce lawyers and are now looking at how to divide their assets. Yeah, that's a pretty serious indicator. Sad but true, it looks like after over a decade of marriage and apparently months of tension, it seems that the two are moving towards a divorce. That's right, splits bill for Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen. This reveal, along with the rumor that the couple has been living separately for the last couple of months, came as a shock to many, especially after seeing the glowing way in which Brady has spoken about the relationship in the not-so-distant past. I'm blessed to find this life partner that we all kind of seek at different times in our life, the former New England Patriots quarterback told Access Hollywood in May of 2016. We found each other at the right time. We've been through a lot of ups and downs together, and in so many ways, that's kind of built our relationship so strong. But if you read between the lines and look at some of the murmurs circulating around the two, even before Brady made those comments to Access Hollywood, it's pretty clear that the tension has been building between the two for quite some time now. Football, like he had a concussion last year. I mean, he has concussions pretty much i mean we don't talk about but he does have concussions and he's i don't really think it's a healthy thing for your body to go through if you think back to training camp this summer brady missed nearly two weeks of action and everyone and their mother seemed to think that it was because of a blowout fight between the couple following brady's now infamous decision to unretire after just a month of retirement and i mean if they're now hiring their own divorce attorneys well then i think it's safe to say that those rumors had more legs than some people gave them credit for initially Million dollar question. Actually, considering how much money the two have stacked up over the years in their respective careers, the almost billion dollar question is why? How could two of the most successful people who seem to have the perfect little family, at least according to social media, be getting divorced? Interestingly enough, long before they became the standard, their entire relationship was actually built on a controversy. A lot of people know that Brady, who has two kids with Giselle, also has an older son from a previous relationship. But what some of our younger fans may not know is the timeline of events. Back in 2007, just two months into their relationship, Brady had to disclose to Bunchen that his ex-girlfriend, actress Bridget Moynihan, was pregnant with his child. Talk about a pretty crazy turn of events. The relationship was just in its infancy, no pun intended, and now a huge wrench was thrown into the question. Giselle has since confessed that this was not exactly an easy time for her, or their relationship for that matter. But they remained together in spite of all the media scrutiny and got engaged and quickly married in 2009. I don't think that this necessarily played a huge role in their recent decision to part ways, but it does feel noteworthy, and definitely helps to provide some context for their relationship. Nevertheless, things seemed to be going smoothly, at least for the most part. There was a little noise after Giselle publicly called out Brady's receivers during their devastating Super Bowl loss in 2012. <laughs> But Brady's teammates did well to defuse this situation by publicly vouching for Bunchen. And the story was all but put to bed after pictures circulated of her and Brady on vacation the following offseason with Wes Welker, one of the wide receivers guilty of having a pivotal drop in the Super Bowl. What is Tom Brady's favorite wine? I can't beat the Giants! <laughs> can't throw it and catch it. You can't throw it and catch it. Then, for a couple of years, it was relatively quiet between the two. That is, until 2015, when it came out that Deflategate had reportedly taken a pretty serious toll on their marriage. They had a very rough few months, and the Deflategate scandal took its toll on their marriage. An insider told E! News. Tom was very difficult to be around and withdrawn. Giselle was supportive, but she was also frustrated with his stress level and anger. She felt like he was taking things out on her and not being fair. And it didn't help that, at the time, Ben Affleck, one of Brady's good friends, was caught up in a scandal of his own. That was, at least in my opinion, a bit more scary 
scandalous than Deflategate. Affleck allegedly had relations with his kid's nanny, Christine Uzunian, essentially wrecking his family in the process. Giselle found this news deeply upsetting, as the couples frequently hung out, and tensions skyrocketed when Uzunian posted a picture to Instagram that showed her on a private jet wearing Tom's four Super Bowl rings. Apparently, Brady and Affleck thought it was an okay idea to have her join them on an off-season trip to Vegas for a poker tournament. Just mere days before Affleck split with his ex-wife, Jennifer Garner went public. Though there were reportedly other employees of Affleck on the plane and other individuals that tried on the rings, obviously, this was the story that the media was going to run with no matter what. And, well, let's just say Giselle was none too pleased with her superstar husband's decision making. The rumors got so loud that Brady eventually took it upon himself to address the allegations that he and Giselle were having problems, telling a Boston radio station at the time, we are in a great place. But ever since then, it sort of felt like these two have been on a collision course towards divorce, regardless of the front that they put on during their many public appearances. Even if things started to relax after the Deflategate scandal was resolved and the Affleck story washed out of the news. That being said, the issues between Brady and Giselle definitely venture beyond any potential sketchiness from their past. I think that this has become increasingly clear as of late, that a lot of the tension between the two over the years has stemmed from Brady's obsessive nature and the insane amount of time and effort that he continued to invest in his football career over the years. Which, I mean, to a degree makes sense. Like, it has to get pretty irritating when you just want to have a nice family dinner and your husband is on the road playing football, or worse, trying to force a meal that fits his wacko diet plan on you. Giselle is one of the greatest models to ever walk the earth. I think she knows how to diet, Tom. Let her eat tomatoes if she wants to. All jokes aside, the evidence was continuing to build that Bunchin was starting to grow tired of her and the family playing second fiddle to Tom's career on the gridiron. Brady even spoke on the matter briefly on E! as early as 2019. It's not like because I'm a football player, her life is going to stop, Brady told E's Jason Kennedy. The challenging part for us is we are very ambitious people. A lot of times, I'm going in one direction and she's going in another. It ships passing in the night. I'm going to football and she's got things she's doing and, oh, by the way, the kids. All the while, though, both Brady and Bunchen continue to plaster social media with pictures of them traveling with the family in the midst of romantic moments and even shouting one another out on their professional accomplishments, almost like an intentional smokescreen for the drama that was playing out behind the scenes, which to me looks like an all-too-serious game of tug-of-war. Giselle badly wanted Brady to retire and make raising their family together his full-time job, and it seems like Brady was just doing his best to keep his wife at bay until he decided for himself that his playing days were over for good. In 2020, Brady expounded further on some of their marital woes, even telling Howard Stern that he had to check himself in order to get the marriage back on track. There were a couple of years ago she didn't feel I was doing my part for the family, Brady explained on The Howard Stern Show. She felt like I would play football all season and she would take care of the house, and then all of a sudden when the season would end, I would be like, great, let me get into all my other business activities. Let me get into my football training. And she's sitting there going, well, when are you going to do things for the house? When are you going to take the kids to school and do that? But as time went on, that trend continued. And even amid the onslaught of overwhelmingly positive posts on social media, both of and about their relationship, something seemed undeniably off. I mean, even some of these aforementioned posts, which were meant to be nice, had some weird undertones to them. I mean, think about Brady's unretirement tweet. These past two months, I've realized my place is still on the field and not in the stands, Brady wrote on Twitter. That time will come, but it's not now. I love my teammates and I love my supportive family. They make it all possible. I'm coming back for my 23rd season in Tampa. Unfinished business, LFG. Yes, he gave his supportive family credit for making it all possible, but teammates first, family second. Have to think that Giselle was not thrilled with this release, especially considering how buttoned up the duo's social media presence generally is. The Brazilian supermodel has had some rather strange posts too, in which the words beneath tell a different story than the flashy image pictured. They echoed a similar sentiment that her husband had continued to admit in years past, that while Brady was uber successful on the field, he had some work to do as a family man. Check out her comments after Brady and the Bucks found success and won a Super Bowl in his first year in Tampa. Now, we are so happy that 
that we get to have you home for a little while. Well, at least until next season. Uh, maybe I'm reading into it a little much, but it seems a little passive aggressive, don't you think? Is anyone all that surprised now? That here we are a couple of years after this kind of behavior was taking place, that a divorce is coming? I mean, after reviewing all the timeline of events, I'm not. It seems clear that Giselle has wanted her husband to retire from football for some time now. And though they were able to navigate the tension thus far, his self-centered decision to unretire after just 40 days home with her and the family appears to be the final nail in the coffin for them. Do you think Brady and Giselle can repair their marriage, or is Splitsville inevitable? And join us in the comments section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, click in the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.